sisters! Today I'm going to be doing Winifred's hair. I'm going to show you guys how to do this look. I don't typically do videos like this, but this is who I make for Halloween. So for those of you who don't know, Winifred Sanderson is from Hocus Pocus. It's a Disney movie. In this video will be her hair and makeup tutorial. The things that you're going to need are hairspray, bobby pins, a curling iron or rod, a brush, a comb, pins and hair elastics. Also, you're going to need orange hairspray or orange hair if you already have that. That will work just fine as well. So, here's what we're going to do. I'll show you guys right now. Don't forget to give this video a great big thumbs up. So the first thing that I started out doing was parting my hair, and you're going to want to do six parts. Um, I was using a comb, but it wasn't working out well. So you want to leave the back. Sorry, I had to go rub and grab some hair elastics. Split it all the way down the middle, and then you want to put a bun on the top, leave some bangs, and leave the hair in the back, and you want to split that into four ponytails and then two like bang pieces so again you're going to put the top into a bun leave the back and then I just put this up right now so it was out of my way And then I took my curling rod and I curled the back hair. Like I said, I don't typically do tutorials. I hope you guys enjoy this and Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite movies and I'm glad to be able to do this as a group costume. Me and a few friends are doing this. And I wanted to share this so other people knew how to do her hair. Put a little bit of hairspray in, not too much because you still have to work with it. Just so the curls like stay. And I'm really not a wig person. So that's why I wanted to do her hair. And I didn't want to spend the money on a wig also. When it's a lot cheaper to just do this. So I'm actually just fixing this bun because I don't like it very much. So I started to take some hair once I get the buns the way I like them. It's having more trouble with that side. And then I started to wrap. Here's the picture of her. And I'm just taking pieces and pinning them up to where I think that it looks good. 
And I left these pieces down in the front because if you look at her picture, it does kind of go. You need some of that right there in the front. I really like the way that my hair turned out. I was surprised and I was very happy with it. Curled my bangs as well. I wasn't getting like the look that I wanted up here, but I eventually worked it out. I have lots of bobby pins. Sorry that I keep going behind the camera. All my stuff is behind there and I don't have like a vanity, so I'm pretty far away. So I'm still just pinning it to where I wanted it to be, giving it a little bit more volume, fixing the front because I did not like it. Instead I put it up like halfway and then took the rest of the hair and let it hang down and clip that where I wanted it, poofing it out some for some more volume. So you want to hairspray this down once you get it to how you like it, so it's not falling around, I mean falling down or moving around. So regular hairspray, max hold, and then I took the orange hairspray, oh, I was fixing my little side bangs. And this stuff smells terrible. I opened the window <laughs> because I couldn't breathe. And then I ended up opening the door as well. Got some on my hand. Nice orange hand. Um, I think on Halloween I'm going to have someone help me put this on or put, and put it on outside. I was getting it all over the place so I definitely will have to come up with something else. But like I said, I like the way that it turned out. Here is me with my costume on. And now I'm gonna show you guys my makeup tutorial, which honestly, it's not the greatest. But I did try and I'm okay going out like this. <laughs> the one thing I would probably do is add mascara because I did not and I could not find mine. I apologize. And maybe get a different tone of red, but right now I'm taking this little circle palette and I'm trying to hide my eyebrows with this glue stick method didn't do great but I mean they were lessened they didn't look like they were full on there so okay that's fine like I said I'm not a makeup artist I don't do this typically I mean I will go out for Halloween like this and if you guys but I'm sure it will help I put some foundation use this brush to rub it all in And I'm using my fingers too because I prefer to do that. And I'm just gonna white out my lips with like this color. Mius is joining me, she's getting into trouble. So the whole brow thing wasn't working. Then I took some eyeshadows, I took like a tannish color and went around my eyes trying to make it a little bit darker.
New Smith's lip liner to make the shape of her lips. Like I said, I'm not the greatest, but I'm trying here. And I would use a little bit of a more red of a lipstick or lip gloss. When I do this, I'm adding some blush. I think I'm starting to look like her though. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you guys soon. Bye. Happy Halloween.